hello. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. Jay Dog, was, what would be safe to use as a dechlorinator and ammonia remover? Water has really high ammonia levels. You have chloramines in your water, the, which is ammonia and chlorine, a, a molecule that's created by the water company in order to turn the chlorine gas into a liquid so that it won't dissipate into the air when you take it out of your faucet. <clears throat> That's to ensure that when you drink it, you get, you get chlorine and ammonia in your gut. So when you use a dechlorinator, if you use it double strength, it'll break the bond between the chlorine and the ammonia, getting uh, precipitating the chlorine. But, but allowing the ammonia to stay there. Now, in truth, it's not very much, and it should be taken up by, by your natural nitrification not, uh, process. So it should not be a problem. Uh, if, you have, if you've got ammonia in the water, excess ammonia, not two or three ppm, but, but a lot, like 50, 100, PPM ammonia, then you've got another problem. Um, it's it's not caused by the water. It's probably caused by other something dead in the tank, or it's caused by your nitrifying bacteria uh, having died off for some terrible reason. Generally, the solution for excess ammonia is to do water changes and to do fairly substantial ones. Again, I don't recommend doing more than 10% of the time, but you can do, in an emergency, you can do 10% every couple of hours, every two or three hours, and just do it routinely throughout the day. That'll reduce the ammonia without significantly stressing the fish. If they are stressed, if you, got, if you have fish hanging at the top and your water is foul, I really recommend you take them out and put them in new water. Just be done with it. Um, you can drain it and refill it, but it's quicker if you've got some water set aside or a tank you can put them in. Just pull them out of it and stick them in a tank that's that's got healthy water. And then you can drain that down or let it sit. Generally speaking, if you let bad water sit for a few days, it'll clear out, it'll straighten out, and it'll be fine. You can then do some some minor water changes and, and be able to strengthen it again. But water does stabilize itself. Um, when I get, we just had a big fish die in a 500 gallon, and I missed it. I knew it was in trouble. I looked for it, couldn't find it. Um, missed it by the next day, the water was milky. Uh, Thomas found it and pulled it out and wanted to know if he needed to do a water change. I said, no, just top it off and make sure the filter is clean so it can move water. And within the day, it was crystal clear again. So, you know, that kind of problem does clear up if you have a well-established tank that's got the kind of nitrification that's able to take care of uh, an, an, a, a sudden ammonia uh, burst. <clears throat> so, Father Fish, we've talked about a whole different bunch of different things here, and we may have confused people a little bit. So, John Quinn yeah. has an answer. I know, I'm confused. <laughs> he says, yeah, what if you don't have well water? What do you add to the water to take the crap out? But before that, J-Dog added that his ammonia is high out of the tap. Yeah, it's not high enough to worry about. And I was saying, how high? <laughs> it, it's, it's probably 5 ppm at that. Um, if it hits 100, it's high. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, two, three, four, five is not high. That's inconsequential. And the, 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 the nitrate living in your tank 
We'll take care of it virtually immediately. 20, 30, 40 is good, but what, 50 and over? We should 20, 30, 40 is a little high, but again, you should have, if you've got a deep sand bed in your tank, a deep substrate and, and plants, that's going to that's gonna, uh, consume it. It'll take it up. You can use, there are ammonia buffers that you can use, but I really don't recommend them. Ammonia you know, at low levels is not a problem in an established tank because it gets cleared up very quickly. Now, that's a good reason why I suggest you never do more than a 10% water change, unless... In, in Joey's case, you're using well water. It, with well water, you can do 100% water change 24 hours a day. You can do flow through water and the fish will be absolutely healthy and happy. If, yeah. if I've never had a problem doing a large water change, but yes, I have no. the well water. Yeah, yeah the only issue with, with water coming out of the ground is it does not have oxygen in it, but if you've got a bubbler or just the very action like that. <laughs> splashing the water in, it's going to oxygenate it very quickly. So it, you know, it does not become a problem. So, um, yeah. So back, back to a person that is doing a water change and they need to use water immediately. They, they don't have a way to store it and what, you know, so they need to, change their water and replace the water, what do you recommend that they do? If they have chlorine, use the dechlorinator. Um, there are any number of things that work well as dechlorinators. I sell sodium thiosulfate, which is a salt. It's dirt cheap. It's available online. I sell it in, uh, in, in $10 packets. $10 does 1,000 gallons. Uh, it's cheap and easy to use. It works very quickly. It precipitates um, uh, 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 chlorine. If you have chloramine, you need to use whatever you're using to get rid of chlorine at double strength in order to break the bond between the ammonia and the chlorine. The remaining ammonia will be taken up uh, by available nitrates in your tank or by plants. Plants can take up ammonia directly. We just lost Mary. Uh oh. Plants can take up ammonia directly. If you have a planted tank, um, if you have a planted tank and a deep substrate, and you, you're not doing more than 10% water changes, you can put the water in straight from the tap without any dechlorinator at all. And it's not going to be a problem. <clears throat> I would not do that uh, higher than 10%. But at 10%, you're not going to create a problem that the tank will be incapable of, of resolving. Uh, you can use vitamin C powder to get rid of chlorine. You can use any of the liquid dechlorinators, that's all in the world they are. They're typically sodium thiosulfate solution, a very a very mild solution. Um, you know, it's, it's easy enough to get rid of chlorine. The chloramine is another matter, but I have not noticed right. that that chloramine is a danger to the fish. I think it's, it's a danger for human consumption. It's a, it's a toxin that is not healthy for brain tissue. In, in fact, in municipal supplies that put, that put ammonia in the water recommend that you do not give that water to your pets. Why they allow it to be drunk by humans and not by pets is, is, is a little uh, uh, piece of... Uh, a bureaucratic nicety that escapes me. Well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice airing with us.